Hi everyone, I am Cataldo Osto from uh, University of Bari and in this presentation, uh, together with Ellen Stark from University of Bergen, we will try to introduce our work about a uh, knowledge-aware food recommender system exploiting holistic user models. So basically, in this presentation, I will talk about food uh, recommender system. The goal of uh, this technology is very intuitive because they basically aim to identify the most suitable recipe for a target user, given some characteristics of the user or some uh, constraints. Uh, currently, the literature in the area of uh, food recommender system has uh, three main issues. First, Content-based approaches are not effective because they are typically based on similarity between ingredients. So uh, content-based food recommendations tend to uh, suffer of over-specialization. Similarly, uh, collaborative approaches are not effective because uh, they uh, suffer of popularity bias. And uh, as some work has shown, popular recipes in food domain are typically unhealthy. So, um, through collaborative approaches, we are not able to recommend healthy recipes, and this is not good. The third uh, problem we have seen is that most of the approaches have a limited understanding and also exploitation, of course, of very important features about the user, such as BMI, mold, or how much physical activity she uh, has done. And this is, in our opinion, an important limitation. Accordingly, uh, in this work, we try to uh, tackle these issues. And in particular, we propose the exploitation of knowledge-based recommender systems uh, to avoid the problems of both content-based and collaborative approaches. And we propose the use of holistic user models to build a, a richer and more comprehensive representation that allows to uh, encode and, again, exploit uh, such under-investigated features of the users. Um, this is our methodology. Here you can see the workflow we carried out. The first model is the profiler model, whose goal is basically to build a representation of the user. In particular, we decided to uh, rely on the principles of holistic user models to build a richer and more comprehensive representation of the user. In particular, we have uh, define the five different groups of user features, such as demographics, uh, affective data, behavioral data, health data, and domain knowledge. And here you can see a, a list of the features that we have encoded in our user profiles. Next, we have the filter component, uh, whose goal is very intuitive because we uh, basically carry out a very preliminary filtering of the uh, available recipes. So, for example, we remove um, recipes containing meat for vegetarian users and uh, so on. Uh, at the end of this step, we produce a set of candidate recipes, so recipes that are suitable for the user. And through the ranker model, we try to identify the most suitable one for her. In order to produce this uh, ranking, what the ranker model basically does is to implement a scoring formula. Our intuition is to exploit what we do know about the user uh, in order to identify the most suitable recipe for her. This intuition has been translated in the formula you can see in this slide. In particular, we uh, calculate for each available recipe a formula that combines the popularity score, so how popular is in general that, uh, uh, that, that recipe, with a knowledge aware part of the formula that basically uh, tries to uh, understand how suitable is that recipe for the user given the characteristics of the user. In order to implement this knowledge aware part of the whole process, we implemented a knowledge base. The goal of this knowledge base is to encode as rules some common sense and background knowledge about food consumption or about healthy food habits. So, for example, if a user is overweight, do not suggest her recipe with high calories. 
or if a user has done much physical activity, uh, you can suggest her you have to prefer recipes with high proteins and so on. Uh, what we do in this step uh, is to activate these views on the ground of uh, the characteristics of the user. So um, once our particular views rule is activated, we increase or decrease the, um, the, the the score of the formula on the ground of the characteristics of the of the of the person. At the end of the step, we are able to uh, obtain to generate a ranking, and we just suggest the most suitable recipe for the user. Here you have a use case, a very simple use case with a set of available recipes for the user. Uh, we first calculate popularity based scores. Next, we create the holistic user model of the user. Uh, in particular, you can see that we have a male user who is overweight. So in the third step, we exploit such information to re-rank all the available uh, recipes by activating some of the rules that we have encoded. In particular, as you can see, uh, given that user is overweight, we uh, our knowledge aware part of the process uh, tend to lower the score of unhealthy recipes and to increase the scores of recipes that can be uh, good for us for, such as for example, a barbecue recipe. Uh, so the intuition is that thanks to this process, we are able to um, provide users with recommendations that are more satisfying for her because they are obtained uh, based on a larger and more comprehensive set of uh, user features. This is what we have tried to do in the experimental part of the process, and I will pass the word to uh, Alan to, to discuss this, uh, uh, this part of the article. Thank you, Cataldo. And my name is Alan Starke. I'm from the University of Bergen in Norway, and I will discuss the user study and its results. So to evaluate our holistic food recommendations, we recruited 200 Mechanical Turk participants. And for each of them, we built a user model. And this user model uh, inquired on some of their characteristics, their food goals, their health goals, et cetera, which Katado also discussed. And afterwards, each user would be asked to choose between three different pairs of recipes. And this would be a first course, a second course, and a dessert. And this would look like this. So on one hand, you would have a holistic uh, recommendation. On the other hand, a popular recommendation. We would present the images of the recipes, their titles, and their directions. And not only would we ask uh, participants to choose between them, but we would also ask them why. So. Did they have taste-related reasons, health reasons, or other reasons to choose either recipe? And in our analysis, we will also reflect on that and use these uh, reasons or motivations to predict, predict what types of recipes were chosen. So we performed two different uh, logistic regression analyses. Uh, in one, we tried to predict whether holistic or popular recipes were chosen. And in the other, we tried to predict uh, per recipe type uh, what factors mattered for that choice. So first, uh, we found that personal factors hardly affected uh, user choices for holistic or popular recipes. Uh, mood, body mass index, cooking frequency, none had any significant effect. Uh, men were, however, more likely to choose popular recipes or less likely to choose holistic recipes. Um, with regard to motivations and goals, uh, we found that rate-related reasons uh, were not, uh, you know, did not determine popular or holistic recommendation choices. But uh, we did find that health-related reasons were more likely to lead to holistic choices. Uh, conversely, um, easiness, taste-related reasons, and users who had weight gain or weight loss goals were more likely to choose popular recipes or less likely to choose holistic recipes. Um, diving into that a little deeper, uh, we compared recipe features to user factors, and then we found that uh, holistic recipes were more likely to be chosen if they were healthier, meaning that if they contained fewer carbohydrates or more protein. Popular recipes, however, were more likely to be chosen if they contained 
more carbohydrates or more saturated fat. Personal factors uh, did not matter in either of these models. And the model fit for both these models was not very high. So we have mostly learned in the study uh, what factors or which features matter and not necessarily to use it to model it further. So in conclusion, I would uh, invite you to read the full paper and you can see that it is a first step towards developing a knowledge aware food recommender system. Uh, we also think it can be uh, used to support healthy food goals because the user model definitely catered to those characteristics that we could measure. And if users are more interested in you know, taste related reasons uh, for food, then I think they will do fine with a popular recommendation model. And in a follow-up study, we will definitely investigate further how our holistic user models can support healthy maintenance behaviors. So uh, that was it for us. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. And uh, thank you for being here.